So we're talking about flagging off bulkheads or making the, you know, how to make the shapes of bulkheads or any irregular form that has to fit into an, another irregular form. Uh, there are two main ways. The first one is to get a lot of strips of plywood or MDF or whatever it is, patterning material, and a hot glue gun, and put them in place and glue them up until you've, you actually make the shape. Uh, which works quite well for some things, but it has its limitations on very complex shapes because you end up spending more time making the pattern than you do, uh, you know, making the thing. The other way is with a, what's called a flat uh, spiraling flag or spiraling stick like that. It can be any shape. Oh, I'm making that shape, and a flag, which is just a bit of wood, a pattern to pattern onto. So, if, for instance, we wanted to get the shape of that corner where you've got the clamp, then the beam shelf, and then the side of the bulkhead and the deck, and all those ins and outs to um, to record. Start off by putting your flag more or less in the right place. So it's nearby, and just, just hold it on. A couple of nails or screws or whatever it is. Okay. All right, so you, there's your spiraling stick. Mark which side is up in the conventional manner. So that you know, for the second part of this, when we're transferring the pattern onto the actual stock, you know which, which way up you're working, so we're always working from the face side up. And Mark, I see, using your foot, your spiraling stick, touch the end of it to a series of points, and then you draw like that. And it's quite a good idea to label them or to number them. So that there we've got one, two, three, etc. And then we come like this. And then in the set again. Five into the corner. Six. Next corner. Okay, so we've recorded with the end of the spile the various points, which this is. These are all straight lines, or they can be regarded as straight lines. So there, 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 there. there. So we get our zigzag pattern. We take this pattern off. For our present purposes, we're going to assume that this, this bench top is the material we're going to make the bulkhead out of. So we just tack it down again, movably, and then the spiraling stick starting at number one. We put it carefully, put it back on, line it up with, the, with our marks, lean down over the top and put a little cross there. So there's number one. There's number two. There's number two, which is close to number one because that's where the corner had been taken off the beam shelf. And there's number three, and then we'll, number four is up there. There's five. Six. Seven. Eight. Then so they've been taken from the bulkhead onto the pattern. We're now, to, on, now onto the stock. Now we, now we have a series of points here, which with a rule, or in this case with the back of my flag, we connect up. As so then, ah, that's, that's wrong. I should have numbered them. And that gives you the position. So there you've got deck there, then coming down the gap by way of the beam shelf, 
and then that's the edge of the beam shelf or oh, sorry the clamp there then that's the face of the beam shelf there and there's the, the hull edge and you can do that on as complicated a shape as you like if you put the put, pick up the points closer and closer together on curves and completely irregular forms if you're putting a, you can do it on an entire bulkhead with split you know with split points if you can't make a bulkhead in one you can mark the joints on it and lift out the patterns in time which is why I prefer doing it to you know to the to gluing up patterns also you can use the patterns time and again whereas if you're gluing them up they get you know they tend to end up on the firewood pile a lot quicker mm. and this is oh, just how I was taught to do it years ago you know? <laughs>